Welcome to part two of episode 15. The Masters is over both in Augusta and here in Falkirk. So in this part, I'm going to talk about what I felt really clicked for me on my Masters Monday that allowed me to play and score so well, for at least nine holes. Now, if I can remember that and hold on to it, hopefully I can replicate it. But first, I need to do this. Okay, lovely people, it is time to take a mulligan. Okay, well that's it done. Don't know how long that took. So that took me just under 12 minutes to set up. However, now that I've done it, don't need to read the instructions and know which of the stupidly ordered instructions to reorder, I'm pretty sure I could get this up or down in about five minutes. Okay, that's a wee bit crumpled. Yeah, that's not working. Nor does it matter, because I'm about to pelt it with golf balls. So on Masters Monday for most of the round, especially the front nine, I was playing excellent golf. My drives were straight and long, my irons were crisp and true, and my putting was strong and stable. Let's never say that again. So what was I doing differently that seemed to make things click? Well, it was a combination of things. It was a combination of what I learned in my lesson with Jane, what I read in Dr. Bob's book, and what I realised listening to my body and the work that I did with dynamic golfers, which may sound terribly complicated, but was actually really quite simple. I went through my usual setup, and as per Jane's instruction, I took my hand position back. And inspired by what Jane was saying about putting more weight through my heels on my swing, I put more weight through my heels during my setup as well. So now when I'm in my starting position, I feel a lot more balanced and secure starting from a solid base. And I think some of that has to do with the work I've been doing on dynamic golfers because my pelvis feels a lot more balanced as well. Now this is one of these things that I've maybe talked about before, but if you'd asked me a couple of weeks ago if I felt balanced during my setup, I would have said yes. It's only now that I realise how much better it can be. Then bring in Dr. Bob. Visualize the shot and clear your mind. Now I didn't exactly clear my mind, but I did limit the number of swing thoughts to one or two. Mostly rotate around my spine. Now that one simple thought I swear has reduced tilt in my pelvis, kept my head still, improved my swing plane, improved my ball striking, and who knows how many other important aspects to a good golf shot. Of course, I am just assuming all that is true because I have no idea, but, I do know I was hitting the ball better and I was making lots of pars. One hundred eleven yards. I know I was going to talk about my launch monitor this week, but I haven't really used it enough yet to say anything intelligent about it. Now, that doesn't usually stop me and there's absolutely no reason not to include it, but I'll just do it properly later. I've got to be honest. Masters or not, Jane Conican lessons or not, Big Phil lessons or not, my chipping just hasn't clicked. Which sucks, because usually it's quite a strength in my game. There's definitely a few simple things that I'm trying to think of that seem to be helping. Number one is to get my weight onto my left foot. Both Jane and Phil agreed on that one. So we've been doing stork chips. Two is to keep my hands in front of the ball and direct them towards the target. And three is to think about the club face at impact. Now all these things are definitely helping. My chipping is getting better and the majority of my chips now have at least a decent contact. The problem now is just my distance control.
I mean, I'm still duffing some, don't get me wrong, but I genuinely feel that my chipping is improving and that something will hopefully click as soon as I get a bit more time to practice, either out on the course or at the practice gear there. So the putting, the other area that I did feel something clicked. Again, after I forgot what made it click the last time. Which makes this part even more important because I can just watch it back if I forget again. So my setup hasn't changed. I'm doing the same things with my grip and Diego Montoya and the 45 degrees of separation. So here are the things that I've started to become aware of which I am crediting with the click. Um, I put my weight a little bit further back again, more into my heels, and I don't know if it's because of the dynamic golfers again, but my pelvis feels so free and balanced. Um, it's hard to describe, but I feel absolutely solid from the waist down. To clarify, not solid in a tense way, completely relaxed, but so strong and supportive. The other thing that seems to be helping takes us back to our robot. Now when I've been putting, I think I've been doing this. When I've been putting well, I think I've been doing this. Now I don't know if there is a visible difference that you guys can see there, but what I think is happening is this. When I am putting not so well, I think my head, shoulders and torso are all rotating around my spine, like so. And what I was doing on Monday, which seemed to be working, was I was keeping my ribs and my head absolutely still and only rotating my shoulders, which should look something like this. Now, I don't know if that's right, per se, but it certainly seemed to be helping on Monday and I will be trying to emulate it the next time I go to play. It's a few days after Masters Monday and in defence of my slight collapse on the back nine, I think I may have pulled a muscle or something because it's a few days later and it's still not quite right. Either that or four rounds in four days is just too much for me now that I'm 40. However, Masters Monday was huge for me. It's the best nine holes I've ever played. It's the best nine hole score I've ever had. And believe me, it genuinely could have been lower. At least two of those 36 shots were from about two inches. And one of them did a full 360 around the hole in order to end there. One of the 36, not one of the two inches. I can get it in from two inches. So I really wanted to document what went right, or at least what felt like it went right, as much for me as for you guys. But when I look at your comments, I am continually delighted by how much you guys are embracing everything that I'm doing. Um, Jonathan Alden Phillips, for example, asks, what's the app you did the free trial on, please? I replied, told him it's not an app, it's called Dynamic Golfers. And then he says, awesome, I'm going to sign up for the free trial on the 22nd, then it's a week before payday if I decide to carry on. Uh, Scott Cowton says, really impressed with how the channel is going. Thank you very much, Scott. Uh, Jane has given me a lot to think about with my stance, etc. So going to give them a try. By the way, she is brilliant. Yes, she is. Uh, he goes on, I am currently waiting on your 15th club coming. Ordered it last night, so hopefully I can take plenty of positives the way you have. I hope so too, Scott. And to anybody who is watching who is trying any of the things that I have been doing, um, please do get in touch, let us know how you're getting on. Um, there was understandably a lot of love for Shooter McGavin. Shooter, if you're watching, thank you very much again. I mean, I know you got paid and everything, but still. Um, who commented on it? Let's see, Scott commented on it, yep. And Big Boy Pants added, wow, very cool. And Rakesh said, easily the best cameo I've ever seen. It was for me too, Rakesh. And not only was it the best cameo I'd ever seen, it was the only cameo I had ever seen. I had never even heard of it before. So I can tell you my face when I was watching it was a complete picture. It was an amazing gift from some amazing friends. So I'm going to give them their own little shout out uh, to Big Al. Or Big Fee. Or Big Ears. Uh, Maury. Ori. 
Ray, Ray, <laughs> or Puri Porridge PhD, uh, Pogi, Pogi or Pogi Cheebs to give him his Sunday name, uh, Plank, Special K, or Pinto Planko, the Latin lover, and the Gazman. Uh, no other nicknames need apply. Thank you so much, guys. It really blew me away. And yes, we do like nicknames. Okay, let's have a look at the diary. As you can see, I had my master's competition at the start of the week and the rest was made up of the usual practice. I've added in some cardio as well as I'd really like to lose a few pounds of lockdown weight. Once again, practice for the week was about 22 hours. Looking ahead to next week, I have some other things happening as I prepare to move back to London. Uh, don't worry though, I'll probably be between here and there quite a lot. So to keep things simple, I will be playing a general play round at the Richmond Golf Club in Surrey. It's a beautiful course that is also home to the Stage Golf Society. And I'm going to show you the whole thing, every shot I take on this lovely course. And now, it's time for everyone's favourite. Excellent excrement. Excellent. 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 Excrement. That's water or road. Excrement. Excrement. Excellent excrement. I had to include a good chip and a long part, and with so much to choose from this week, Monday scorecard just seemed to sum it all up perfectly. But if there was any doubt, a shot out of bounds and a duff were there just to make sure. Now the article about me in the Fogart Herald has now been published. Thank you to everybody who helped make that happen. And anyone who is now watching as a result of that article, hello, hi, thank you very much for joining us. I hope you enjoy. And anyone who wants to read it, I will put a link in the description or you can just Google Falkirk Herald and I'm sure you'll find it that way. All that's left to say is that if you enjoy the videos, click like, comment and share. And if you want to be part of the journey, click subscribe and ding the wee bell. I'm on these and I have this. So my quick fix attempt to lose a few pounds was surprisingly unsuccessful. However, it does mean that I don't have to wear a hat now when I play. You can find out if it makes any difference whatsoever to the golf next week. Till then, be good, and if you can, shout for it.